Okay, uh, here we are. In the Pocket Valley. And you see the top of um, Barraburn Bunkhouse there. We just parked up in the car park. And looking at the clouds over there, we could be in for a spot of rain. Forecast is rain over that way, but I think we might be all right over this way. Anyway, I'm going up there, Shill Hope Law, 501 metres. Just a glutton for punishment. So that steep path there is where I'm going up. There's the one over there as well, but um, I think it's this one. Well, it is this one on the map. Uh, that's Kylo Shin up there. So hope, anyway, hopefully I'll get a, a spot on the top to camp. Twenty past seven. Correction, twenty past five. So uh, all right. Well, we're gaining height pretty rapidly. Stay down there. You can see the border ridge up there. The clags moving in, heading this way by the looks of things. It's not so windy up here now. I thought it was going to be a lot more windy, but uh, anyway, there's rain. By the looks of things, all I'm facing west here. See how it goes. Right, we're heading up there. And that's the valley we've just driven up. see there it's all uh, you can just see a um, bit, of, bit of sunlight I don't know if the camera's picking that up just underneath the cloud base so I might head towards inner hill the only thing is the wind seems to be coming from sort of that direction so I might have to drop off that way. See if we can get a bit of shelter. But then again, I'll see the sun coming up over the coast there. Hopefully in the morning. Forecast due for clear skies in the morning, so we'll just see how it goes. Right, the quest for the pitch starts now. Place. However, it is 
Guess we see central here. I mean, I saw saw it from up there when I was coming down the fence lines, up there to the cairn, down. You won't be able to see it on this, but it's on the crest of the, the hill there. I mean, we're sheltered here. But it's just a case of whether I want to be uh, smelling this all night long. And didn't I leave my blooming trowel? So I have to clear some of it away if I'm gonna gonna pitch here. It's obviously a popular spot for the sheep, but uh, it's got some great views. Bridge over there, you can see that, and uh, there's a farmstead down there, Battershielhof, I believe. There's a wall down there, you can't quite see it, but it's, uh, it's down there. I've been down this valley on my mountain bike, uh, so I don't know. It's seven o'clock now, so I've got plenty of time if I want to scope out somewhere else another bridge there look. so I don't know it's that inner hill up there can have a wander over there and see what the crack is. Some inside hills over there. Right. There's a flat place down there. But I've got a feeling it's just going to be the same. Hey, look. It's just all over the place. And it stinks. But it's out the wind, it's in the lee of that hill. So we'll see.
Yeah, so I thought I'd just show you my uh, cooking setup. It's uh, pretty simple. Um, it's all based around a 400 mil um, titanium cup. Um, so all I do is basically just boil water, and I've got one of these. Um, well, it's a Lixada stove. It's just a, like a multi-fuel burning stove with um, using some Fire Dragon uh, fuel. And um, I'll just use the half of one there, that's normally enough just to bring that to the boil. Just got to watch it without wind. Unfortunately there's no control over it, it's, uh, you know, you just have to wait till it runs out, so it's pointless putting a full one in. Um, so, half's normally enough for a cup of coffee, uh, half a... Um, uh, fuel tabs normally enough to bring well that's about 300 mill millilitres in there so uh, that's that'll be for my coffee that's that's about 200 odd or I could rehydrate my my dehydrated chilli in a pot cosy so yeah basically just works around that um, it's, it's light can't remember exactly how how heavy um, it is, but it's grams, you know. It's, uh, and these uh, fuel tabs are pretty good. As you can see in there, it's coming up around the outside. I had to make a, like a little fuel um, tin foil base because there's holes in the base and the stuff will just drip through. But um, well, we've been going about. I know, six or seven minutes now, and it's uh, it's not far off the boil there. So uh, it's cappuccino time. Um, the only thing I found with uh, that mug is uh, I don't like drinking from it because obviously it's uh, it's hot. So you know you burn your lips, and the things used about cold before you can. Uh, Put your lips on it so uh, in fact that might be bits of my lip stuck on it and i'm only joking um yeah so that's it um so i'm gonna have that and i'm gonna have something to eat and then uh, have some ribena and then possibly a wee nip Well, that's it, had my dinner. Cappuccino and a cup of soup. So, uh, it's me full. I'm just looking at the view. Simonside Hills over there. Valley of the Usway Burn. Bit cloudy the night. Good thing I'll get, uh, get many stars. But you never know, might clear. <coughs> then again, maybe not. That wind keeps coming and going. One minute there's a gust, and the next minute it's uh, still. Fingers crossed. I've only seen the one midgey in the tent so far, so hopefully, I don't need to batten down the hatches. So yeah, just got a few nibbles. <coughs> nice mess there. <sighs> Nuts and salamis and all kinds in there. Very nice. There we go. I always uh, 
have those flaps open, get air circulating through because um, they're obviously Hilleberg, as you're probably aware, renowned for their condensation. So I like to keep as much um, airflow going through as possible. Well, it's a bit wonky, isn't it? I'll have to straighten that up. Yeah. Sort that one out. Right. Just getting a new uh, I'll get new mo. <sighs> Mattress. I was whinging about the um near light air slipping and sliding all over it. So what I've done on this one is mag uh, magnet seam grip. Just rub some on. It's like a sticky dries. Um, on that side for the sleeping bag to so stop that rolling around and on this side I'll put a load of dots so hopefully that'll uh, just get a bit of weight on it it'll grip on the on the floor of the of the tent because normally I find myself sliding all over the place in the middle of the night and uh, this has got vertical baffles so I don't really get on with the horizontal ones, so we'll just have to see. There's no thermal properties in this lake, so obviously it's alright for the summer, but um, in the winter, I'm probably just going to have to get used to using the Neo Air uh, X Lite. Um, but if it if this proves successful, I'll then I'll try it on the X Lite, and then hopefully that will solve the problem of me sliding around all over it. And what I also did, hopefully you'll be able to pick this up was put a buff over here and ran some cord and what I'll do is just put that on like that so this will go underneath and hopefully that will keep that in place I mean I've got a little bit of seam that stuff there stop it sliding around but that with that bungee cord will hopefully keep that in place so uh, I'll not lose my pillow in the night because that's another it's another complaint so uh, just a couple of little things there that have uh, hopefully make things a bit better, but obviously we have to have a bit tidy up. Um, I was going to hopefully get the binoculars out and have a scooch around, see what I could see. There was a couple of ravens I saw before, but uh, the light's not particularly good, so I'll have a go anyway and see what I can see. Still quite warm. That wind's picking up again. Anyway, I'm going to go and sort that end of the tent out. Uh, but check this end. No, that end's all right. Right, so I'll go and sort that back end out. Would have had a walk up to Middle Hill. Just have a look. And that's where I'm camped. Directly over there. I don't know if you can make out the tent, you probably can't. Do you see the yellow bit there? towards the border ridge there. Ribena. And that 
lights down the Coquit Valley there. Can't really see it from here. It's about quarter to ten now, so I love it this time of year. It's uh, dark till really late. In fact, it hardly ever gets dark, it just kind of gets to twilight. And there's the uh, Musray Burn down there. I won't be walking off this way tomorrow. I'll just go back up, back up the way you came because this takes you right down the valley. And I've been on, I said it'd be earlier, I've been on the, on the mountain bike down this down this valley and it just seems to go on forever. And, and, he, and then I'd have a long walk back up uh, back up the road so I'm just gonna um, just go back retrace my steps and go back the way it came the winds dropped off a bit now I mean I'm on the ridge and it's uh, it's, it's it's now really I said that was uh, that in the distance was um, Simon Tower, but it's not. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to have a look on the map and try and work it out. But uh, well, I don't think it is anyway. Um, it looked like it, but it's not it's trees. And then we've got that coming, so we might get a splash in the night. Right. the tent, get some tunes on. Not a bad view to wake up to, eh? Guys, oh, dear me. Cloud in the sky. Yeah, a couple over there. Right, we're away up there. That's where it was. Replace the uh, the zip pulls, the metal zip pulls, with the Dyneema, so they must have come loose in the night. It's always worth checking. Make sure I haven't left any pegs. Right, let's go my way. <laughs> <laughs> 